the whole challenge, you know, in, in terms of what I'm talking about in terms of the diet and lifestyle is it, it's very easy to give a, a quick answer. And as most things in life, in particular in medicine, rarely is that quick little answer the right answer. So what I would say is certainly trying to get people to lose weight would be helpful, get them to exercise more, stop smoking, but in terms of, oh, give up this, you know, quick little snippets, oh, you need to give up red meat, that's not necessarily the answer. You know, that there's one approach, there's a lot of healthy diets that can incorporate red meat into the diet, particularly if it's grain-fed, not overcooked, not processed. So it's, again, it all comes down to more nuance. And what I would say is it, to provide the complete care to the patient, if you're not comfortable with that discussion, and I think most of us aren't because we weren't trained that way, is to incorporate people into your practice who are, work with dietitians, uh, work with exercise physiologists, because not only are you doing the patient a lot of benefits in terms of preventing their heart disease, treating their other problems, you're getting them mentally to feel better about themselves, they're getting in a better state to tolerate the other treatments that we're doing, we can reduce the side effects, and maybe, just maybe, we actually may be slowing down the cancer as well.